everybody, this is Jessica, and I'm going to be creating this art journal page using some of the supplies from the Mixed Media Inspired box from Art Journal Junction. So I'm working in my Large Dilutions journal, and I'm going to start by putting a layer of black marble dilutions paint and use my mini blending tool. Now, I also could do this with black gesso, but I'll be honest, I was out because of the quarantine, so I'm making do, and I'm going to use the black marble dilutions paint and then I after that had a chance to dry I'm grabbing the book paper that came in this month's kit and I'm sketching out a heart now I wanted the heart to be a little bigger and I didn't have big enough book pages so I'm just overlapping two and making do so that I can have a larger image and then I'm going to cut out those two pieces and they should layer together perfectly to create a heart so I'm just making sure that I like the shape of it and I'm adjusting it slightly here and there and I'm happy with it. And so I'm going to go ahead and glue that down using Distressed Collage Medium Matte and my Collage Medium Brush. I'm going to place this in the center of my page. Again, I'm just making sure that I like the placement and everything before I get too crazy with the glue. So I'm happy with it now and I'm going to just glue down the first piece and then layer the second piece down and put another layer of collage medium over the top to seal it and in the end you won't even know that there's two pieces of book paper there it just looks like one solid heart so after the glue has had a chance to dry I'm going to come in with some paints and I'm using the Dina Wickley Media Heavy Body Acrylic line and I'm going in with black and then Medieval, and in the end, Blackberry, which is a dark purple. So I'm starting with black because the background is black and I want to be able to blend colors together. So if you don't have a wet medium to blend into, it doesn't really work. So I'm putting black in the, in the corners and then I'm going to work inward. So first black and then the Medieval, which is a metallic dark gray. And I'm brushing the, that uh, Medieval into the black. So again, it's blending instead of creating a harsh line and a brush stroke. So after I've had a chance and I've went all around with that and I'm also not being very careful to blend it out so there you will see some brush strokes and I'm also going over the heart slightly so that that heart doesn't have a distinct line. Now I'm going in with the blackberry and I'm brushing over the entire heart. It doesn't matter if it has perfect coverage because you're going to see in a second I'm getting my water bottle out. And I'm going to spray just the heart and then use my towel to lift portions of the paint. So I want the heart to be more tinted purple than to be solid purple. And I also want to be able to see the book paper. So I'm adding and then removing. So now I'm going to use gesso on a mini blending tool to cover the Carabelle bird on my diary stamp. I'm going to stamp that directly on my page. And I'm making sure to use even pressure over the whole thing so that all of the elements do stamp down because this is kind of a detailed stamp. And then I let that gesso dry and I also instantaneously cleaned off my stamp with water and a towel so that that gesso didn't dry on my stamp and damage it. So now I'm coming back to my page and as I said I let the gesso dry and I'm just going in with those colors that I used earlier and I am painting over the gesso so it's not so bold white in areas. So the embellishments you see here on the left come from the Mix Me Inspired box this month and I wanted to be able to look at all the elements but I didn't have a dish so I opened my scribble sticks and I poured them into the cover. So that's what you see here. I'm just going through all the embellishments and I'm grabbing out different buttons and placing them down on my page. Now I'm using the Dina Weekly Media Ultra Thick Gel Medium to glue all these things down and I'm just using my finger. So as you can see, I've got pretty much all the heart filled in now and I'm just going in with little areas using my nonstick craft tweezers to place like sequins and tiny seed beads and things like that. So I'm also kind of looking and seeing, oh, this area needs a little more, add another button. 
So I'm just now spot checking things. And after I have most of it all placed, I'm going to go in with uh, Tim Holtz Dilutions Collage Medium. And I'll spread that out with my palette knife. And then I'm going to use my craft tweezers to place seed beads in between all of these buttons. And you can't really see very well, but in the end, there's lots of seed beads all over in between there. So after all those embellishments have had a chance to dry, I'm using a Stabilo Wall Pencil in white. And I'm going to outline the heart and then activate that with a wet brush. And my brush is extremely wet, so some areas are going to have more pools of water and others are going to just barely activate that pencil. And I'm going to tip my book up so that I'm starting to cause drips and I'll also use my brush to guide them so that it starts to drip, you know, in the areas that I want. And then I will tilt the book back and I will go the other direction with it because I'm really wanting to have that Stabilo Wall Pencil running everywhere and basically creating a mess. And I like a whitish shadow around this heart. Now I've watered down some of that blackberry paint that we used earlier and I'm just splattering it on over the whole thing. And some of it did get on the buttons, which I was okay with. But if you didn't want that, you could just block that part off. Now I'm stamping the same bird stamp that we used earlier, but this time I'm only inking up the bird portion with archival ink. And I'm going to stamp it down on some specialty stamping paper from Ranger. And this is a really nice paper. It's a coated paper, so when you stamp inks on it, they don't really sink into the paper. It stays on the top and it remains really vivid and dark which I thought would look really nice against this black background. So while I was letting the ink on that stamp dry, I, I went back in with uh, Stabilo Wall Pencil in black and I traced around the heart again and then activated it again using my brush just to create another layer. And then I'm opening the Dina Weekly Media Gloss Spray in magenta and I'm just flicking the cap onto the page to create really tiny drops. So as you can see I cut out that bird so now it's just waiting there and I'm going to use a little bit of the Dina Weekly Media Gloss Spray in Cheddar on a wet brush and I'm going to just paint it onto this bird only on the bottom portion of him of his you know breast chest area and then I will set that aside to dry. Now I'm going in with some Letterit dimensional black foam tape and I'm going to just cut off a couple pieces so a larger piece in the center of him and then one on the tail and I'm it's double sided adhesive so it's going to lift this from my page and I'm using black because the rest of the page is black so it just blends in a little nicer if you were looking at it from an angle. So I'm removing the backing from these, and I promise it's easy to do. I just seem to have a little bit of trouble with that tiny piece on the bottom. And then I'm going to line up the bird with the bird that we stamped earlier in the gesso so that the outline matches the cutout part portion of it, and I'll press that down. Now the very last thing I'm going to do is to place another one of those purple sequins. Again, just using a, a tiny dab of the stress collage medium and my craft tool and I'm going to push it into place and with that my page is done thank you so much for following along and watching and I'd love to see what you're creating using the supplies from the mixed media inspired box so be sure to post on social media and tag us and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any more videos that we post in the future have a wonderful day